let's recap July, now that it's the end of the month. I had the moon tarot card this month, which has a lot of kind of like confusion and stuff like that, bewilderment, like I don't know. Uh, honestly, this year my tarot cards have been pretty accurate so far and I can see how they play out for the rest of the year um, from here almost. <laughs> so I don't know, we'll see how everything goes but so far I can't believe how accurate the tarot cards have been I don't think any of you guys are even following along with that stuff but I'm having fun you know reassessing my life every month and thinking and comparing and it feels like a spiritual thing for me and it feels like it's good to do it um so yeah I like including it as part of these things I think I'll try and do that uh from now on honestly I like doing the yearly tarot card spread and then including it in the monthly caps so too bad you guys gotta keep dealing with it um i also mentioned in my last recap that we had canada day fireworks and a barbecue and that was really really fun my boyfriend and his dad always spend so much money on the fireworks because they put on a whole show for like tons of people and you know they want to make it good it's fun to explode stuff right so that was a really good time all the kids always end up running around screaming and loving it um and you know i can't complain i'm a fan of fireworks as well my boyfriend's dad also had his birthday this month so we went over there for dinner at one point and that was lovely just spending time with them my boyfriend did get strep throat actually and had to go on like some crazy antibiotics and that was not fun this month but thankfully i was okay i didn't get sick or anything my parents hosted like a charcuterie night type thing it was really clever actually my mom called it a game board um because she had found a bunch of like like exotic weird animals to try out um you know from like my cultural perspective so we tried like just stuff that was a little bit more unique you know like alligator and camel i think there's kangaroo um and then even like wild boar and stuff like that bear i think was on there um i'm a vegetarian so i didn't even really do any of that i was there for the cheese <laughs> but it was actually really cool um of a concept and my mom is so creative like that and it was fun to see them and hang out and do all that I had made fresh sourdough baguette, of course, I had to bring something. We went to our property up north at one point as well, and it was like the homecoming celebration or whatever, and that was actually kind of fun. It's like a small town, um, you know, so everyone was out there drinking and partying and having fun. So yes, we did get drunk, and it's a whole story. My boyfriend's grandfather was supposed to dd for us he was gonna come pick us up because we were all getting you know drunk in the middle of town and he lives on the outskirts um so he was gonna pick us up and then he didn't we called him probably about 300 times and his phone he like i think he was just ignoring us like he was shutting his phone off or something i think it was calling him from an unknown number i don't even know what was happening either way he did not pick us up <laughs> um so then we ended up having to walk for like I think it was like an hour and a half to get back and we were all drunk and it was like super super hot out like sun blazing but i actually didn't mind i enjoyed the scenic walk and honestly because i was drunk i felt like it went faster but uh going fast is not my specialty i guess because me and my boyfriend tried to race each other and i started running and i guess I don't know, my legs weren't going fast enough and I just slid on my stomach. We were racing each other and I just slid and I had road rash all down my stomach, on my arms, on my legs. It was kind of brutal, but I was drunk so I didn't really feel it. It was kind of just fun, funny more than anything. I feel like I keep getting these like comical injuries and it's like ridiculous, but you know, I couldn't be too mad. It was just, it was ridiculous. So I couldn't be mad about it. <laughs> but then uh, once we got back to the property, we did do some gardening once we were not drunk the next day. Uh, Cause I had four new cherry trees that I had brought up. My dad actually had sprouted them from the little pits. And that is like difficult if, I don't know if you guys know anything about that stuff, but a cherry pit is like quite difficult to germinate from everything I've heard. I've never tried it. But I was super thankful that my dad did it and then, you know, gave me the four trees afterwards. That was really super nice. Um, 
so yeah now they're gonna be planted planted at the property up north and that's really nice anyway i guess my boyfriend's grandfather was really excited about that too because he's into like the fruit trees he's trying to grow a whole forest out there i love it it's really awesome some more crazy stuff um i tried to get my boyfriend to go to his first ever like concert and there was this you know big like park concert like out in the park whatever <sighs> well so i thought i was like you know it's summer it'll be nice it'll be really fun there was like four bands lined up or something you know a bunch of food trucks i was like this is gonna be a pretty good first concert experience no i didn't consider that there was a hurricane so <laughs> we went and we tried to stick it out i have never been so wet in my life like drenched to the bone my i was wearing a red shirt and it was running the dye all of my other clothes were ruined i like i was soaking wet my makeup was completely gone like it was not pretty but it was fun like the bands were good and it would have been great if we could have stayed the whole time but it was just like too much we went and we wanted to see nickelback turns out nickelback was the very last performer that night and we didn't even get to stay to see it so that kind of sucked um so I guess it was kind of a bummer of a first concert, but it was definitely memorable. I couldn't believe it. I couldn't believe how much rain there was. Like it was insane. I can't even explain it to you. Like think of a downpour times two and then for, you know, like five hours straight. Like it was insane. We also went over to our friends for just like a fun hangout night, whatever. We all got drunk. We were playing stupid card games and stuff like that it was just fun to hang out um so that was nice i like that they can host now more often in their old place they would get noise complaints all the time but in their new place it's it's been nice because they can blast their music and you know it's fun to go over there and i like hosting i love hosting honestly i love when people come over to my place and i get to do the whole thing but it's also nice when the roles are switched <laughs> Oh my god, I don't know if you guys have seen it or heard of it. I hadn't until lately. My boyfriend showed it to me. But Tim Robinson, I think you should leave. Oh my fucking god. It is so funny. Like, so funny. Like, I couldn't stop laughing. Usually, I am really picky when it comes to, like, comedians and funny stuff. I do not have a good sense of humor. Like, I think stuff is funny, but it's not what normal people would really consider funny. I feel like usually comedians have really horrible like egos and they're just like not pleasant people but this this comedy special this show or whatever it was literally hilarious honestly it was like my perfect almost sense of humor and comedy you know my brain has always worked a little bit different than you know your average person lately i've actually been considering that i might be um neurodivergent maybe slightly autistic uh and i don't say that lightly it has came with a lot of struggles through my life i don't plan on getting diagnosed so i'm not claiming that title but it does resonate with me in a lot of senses and that that comedy special was actually something i could understand in a weird way like i feel like sometimes comedy goes over my head or i take it too seriously and it's just not funny to me but the i think you should leave show it was like literally so funny because it was just so out there and i i honestly i haven't seen anything that funny ever i think so i would recommend you guys watch it you might hate it but <laughs> honestly because it's kind of weird and i don't know if it's everyone's sense of humor but it's definitely mine so i loved it i was super happy to find something that i actually liked for once oh my god guys also school i've been in school yes i'm a college girl college student um <laughs> that's so stupid but i've been loving it so much and i just finished my first two classes that i signed up for and for some reason i thought my classes were only available in the spring but then i checked and i can also sign up for some for fall so i actually signed up for two more classes for fall and my entire program that i'm taking for a certificate is only five classes so i'm like gonna be almost done i'm so excited to be doing it in the fall again and you know really investing this time into my education and myself and my future because i've been kind of looking into how i can make a career out of the thanatology stuff because i would really like to be a grief counselor 
Um, but that's, that's going to take a while. I can't just do that. Um, I'm going to need licensing and education and stuff like that. So I've been trying to plan out the steps and I actually found a PhD that might be my goal for the future. I obviously have a lot to do before I can reach that, but it's kind of exciting just to consider that that could be a possibility for me. Um, so yeah, uh, I have just finished my two classes. I got super good grades. I think my average was 96%. Um, I would have loved to do better, of course, but I'm not mad about that considering it was my first go at college. Um, and I'm really, really, really excited. So my exams, I think, went well. Uh, oh my god, I almost missed the day though. <laughs> which is horrible and so unprofessional but the schedule that they had given us said like a start day for the exam and then an end day but then the end day was like some totally wrong random date but then i thought that i had like a week because most of the classes it was like start day end day and it was a week so i was like okay i've got a start day and then i've got a week until the last day of school because that was a a day but then the teacher meant that the exam was due on the first day and then all of the rest of the school stuff was due by the last day and I was like so confused I was like oh my god I emailed her and you know she was super nice and she was like just take the week like it's fine study and do what you gotta do but I felt so unprofessional and horrible that I had misunderstood I guess and you know it all worked out it was it was fine you know she said I was a pleasure to have in the class whatever um but I was so scared that I almost missed it because <laughs> that would have been really horrible. But I did it and it felt good and I'm happy with how everything has been going. And I can't wait to tell you guys more about my school life and um, where that journey takes me. So something else about this month actually, so this whole thing about the um, grief counseling and everything, that all kind of came about because of the two miscarriages that I went through in 2023. Um, and actually, the second pregnancy that I had, my baby was going to be due on July 14th. Um, so that was a little bit difficult, you know, when you pass those milestone days and stuff like that. Um, you know, you process the emotions and you just let yourself kind of feel it a little bit, you know, a bit of distraction on one side and then a bit of crying on the other. You got to balance it. Yeah, so that's always a little hard for me, but... But I've got a lot going on and I'm focusing really hard on like the self-improvement stuff with the school and oh my god doctor's appointments and stuff like that I'm handling it <laughs> life has been a lot you know um so I took a moment for my baby but had to move on um I've been having issues with my hips I've talked to, to you guys about this multiple times <laughs> uh still no real answers but I did get an x-ray taken and everything looked okay with that. So I'm happy to hear that, that it's not a problem with my skeleton. Um, but I did go and get blood work done because my doctor wanted to test for polycystic ovary syndrome. She speculated that I could have it, but then um, a second opinion said I probably don't have it, but then no real tests were done. So now I'm finally going through with the testing and seeing if I do actually have it. Um, so I got one, blood work round done and everything looked okay except for two things so i don't know what that means i don't know if that means that i have polycystic ovary syndrome or if i have a different thing i don't know but i have to retest my blood work and go get that done again um because my dheas and my testosterone were borderline elevated so those are both reproductive hormones <laughs> um so i don't no, what is going on? I don't know. All I know is that I'm in pain and I've got weird lumps on my hips and I want them gone. I want it dealt with. Um, but at least by going through with the testing and stuff, it feels like a step in the right direction. I'm trying to figure out what's wrong with me. Um, and thankfully my doctor has been trying to help me out. Uh, I ha have to admit it is a fear of mine that she will get tired of seeing me for my hip problem and giving me these requisitions and, you know, not finding anything. Um, but I'm, 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 there's no point in worrying about that because that's not where I'm at right now. <sighs> but hopefully we'll find some real answers soon and it can be dealt with. <laughs> oh, also, I don't know if you guys noticed, but close up here. <laughs> I changed my septum piercing 
it used to be silver with just the little balls and now I've got a gold hoop. I figured it matches my ears, the rest of my piercings a little bit better. I prefer the gold, I think, and I've, you know, I've been wanting to do that for a while. It's so subtle, you can barely even tell, but it made me feel good, you know? I'm a whole new person now. It's a change that was needed, right? I did upload some new stuff for sale on Sweeky. I don't know if you guys saw it. It was just kind of a casual upload. I was just going through some of the stuff I have in my room and wanted to get rid of some of it. I put some, you know, plugs and shirts and just random stuff, right? Go check it out. Um, more fun stuff like panties, socks, you know. Uh, I've got quite a few things listed for sale, signed photos. Uh, I try. <laughs> I did post a lingerie haul video on here though. What did you guys think about that? Let me know what your favorite one is in the comments of that video because I can't really decide. I I thought that I would like the greenish one the most, but then I tried it on and I was like, I don't know, like it's cute, but I like it. The white one I was really hopeful for, but again, I don't know, it didn't fit as well as I hoped. And same with the other one, <laughs> go watch the video. <laughs> I was happy to treat myself to some new lingerie though. That's always fun, that always feels good. And I know that you guys enjoyed it. And finally, um, I have been trying to balance my work life balance. <laughs> um, and it's been hard, honestly. I'm trying to cut back on a lot of my platforms and refocus, you know, what I'm trying to do. I don't know what I'm trying to do. <laughs> Um, but I've been considering some things and I'm sure I'll have announcements to make with you guys soon. So stay tuned, have all your notifications on for all of my platforms because I'm a mess. But recently I have done a brand collab with the brand Auto Blow and I love them so much. When I used to work at the adult store, I used to sell their products all the freaking time and they are high quality. They're good, right? Um, so I have two of their products and I posted one of those videos on the hub and I have another one coming soon. And I kind of even want to do just a YouTube video talking about these auto blow products because they're just so cool and so good. And I really want to just talk to you guys about them now that um, I'm posting using them, right? It only makes sense. So yeah, I've been really, really busy with just a lot of everything going on. And I apologize for not being the most present and active lately. I'm trying, but I'm just confused honestly i don't know what i'm trying to do at this point because with school i'm definitely trying to follow that and focus on that but that's not a right now thing that's a future goal that i need to work towards so right now i'm trying to figure out um what is sustainable with with the porn career i think right i'm trying to not stretch myself too thin I want to produce quality content and I want it to be worth it, you know? Um, but I don't know what that means. I've been considering camming again. Don't hold me to that because I've said that before and it hasn't happened, but it's an idea. But at the end of the day, I feel like I'm trying to move away from the industry. It's got its claws in me and I don't want to give up because I have something good um, and I do enjoy it and I do need to make money. <laughs> but it's just a really confusing sort of time of transition. So I appreciate that you guys are always here supporting me and I really hope I can keep making you happy. <laughs> um, I'll talk to you guys next month, hopefully with some new good updates. Love ya, bye.